guys, Tasha here from Stardust Gold Crochet. I'm going to go through the Lira Beanie with you today. Um, this is the Lira Beanie. It's a really awesome pattern. It's very simple, uses basic stitches, and um, some people call it Lira, and um, somebody was saying it might be called Lyra. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Lira, Lyra, however you want to call it. So, um, what I used for this pattern is a Yarn by Yarn B. I'm going to try to find the seam so I can put it on and show you guys what it looks like on. There we go. It's super cute. It's warm. It has a great texture to it. Um, and this is the yarn here. It's called Sweet Divinity. Can you see that? By Yarn B. And this colorway is called Red Clay, but they have lots of other colorways you can use. And I used a 4.5 millimeter hook, which is a pretty small hook. Um, and even though this is listed as a four weight yarn, it's really not a four weight yarn. I don't know why they, they do that with their yarns where they just basically say it's four weight, but it's really small. And I actually have some three weight yarn back here and it, it is actually thinner than the three weight yarn that I have. So if you think you're going to get a worsted weight, this is very small for worsted. But anyway, that's how, how it gets that look to it where it's real fine. And I actually started working one up in um, with a larger hook to see what it does. And the pattern isn't quite as tight as that. So I kind of like the, the smaller hook with the thinner yarn. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this free pattern. Um, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Any questions you have, just leave them on down below. I'm glad to answer them. The link for the patterns down below as well. And it's free up on the blog. Free. Who likes that? And um, please hashtag Lyra Beanie. And I would love to see your creations with this, with this pattern. And if you, like I said, have any questions, leave them on down below. Guys, take care. Happy crocheting. Okay, so from this project, we're using Sweet Divinity, and it's by Yarn Bee. I used the color Red Clay for the sample, and this yarn is a four-weight yarn. It's listed as a four-weight yarn, but it's actually really thin. So I would use a substitution of a three-weight yarn if that's what you'd like to use um, to kind of match the style of the sample. And I used a 4.5 millimeter hook, and I use a Bates hook. This yarn seems to be easier using a Bates hook. It doesn't snag as much. So to start, we're going to work on the brim and you're going to make a snip knot, slip knot. And we're going to chain nine. But of course you can chain however many you'd like to make your brim as wide as you'd like. And of course, if you're using a thicker yarn and a larger hook, you're going to chain less. And so we're going to go straight into the first chain from the hook and do a single crochet and we're going to single crochet across each chain until you reach the end of the row and this is a really simple pattern you can modify it so easily so once you reach the end you're going to chain one turn and then for row two we're going to work our first single crochet under both loops And then we're going to work the subsequent single crochets into the back loop until you reach the last stitch of that row. And this is going to be our repeat row. So you're going to repeat row two for however many rows your measurements are for your brim, for your head circumference. And it's really easy because you can modify this. You just have to remember to do both loop single crochets into the first and the end. So we're at the end and we're going to do a single crochet through both loops. We're going to chain one and turn and then repeat row two. Working into the back loops. And there you go, you just re keep repeating until you reach your desired length. 
So here I'm doing a really small sample. I just did about 12. I wanted to show you how to join. So you just bring the sides together and just kind of line them up as best you can. I counted mine and I had 12, so I'm just gonna go straight, or I'm sorry, I had eight stitches. I'm gonna go straight into the very end and just do a slip stitch and then work through the very first stitch of the front piece. And you're gonna work through, but you can work through both loops or you can work through single loops. It's up to you how you wanna join. In the pattern, I worked through both loops. And then just slip stitch that together all the way down. See, the yarn can be a little splitty. That's why I preferred to use a Bates hook with this pattern because I tried it with um, a boy style hook and it just was very difficult. It kept snagging the yarn and it got frustrating. So just keep joining through both sides with slip stitches until you reach the other side. So we're at the very end. Just go in and join those last two pieces and then the, of course the end piece is gonna be where your tail is. So if you end with an even number of rows, you should have, when you slip stitch together, you should be at the top where your tail is. And now this is really super tiny, but we're gonna flip it inside out. And then we're gonna start working one single crochet into the top of each row. I'm gonna pull out just a little bit and tighten that tail up because it gets a little loose sometimes. So go ahead, chain one, and then work a single crochet into the top of each end of the row all the way around the hat. And you can work a half double crochet if you want. Like I said, you can just modify this however you'd like. It's a really simple pattern to modify. I actually started working a half double crochet at first and then I switched to single crochet because I just thought it looked a little bit um, neater. But you can always do a half double crochet too and then work into the back loops for the first round, which would probably give it a nice little ridge too. So keep working around a single crochet in each. And when we come back, I'll show you how to join. So we're gonna join here into the very the chain, not the actual stitch itself. So that chain one, it could get a little tight, but join into that chain one. And then we're gonna work on round one of the top of the beanie. Actually round two, my apologies. So here I chained three. In the pattern, you can chain two or three. We're gonna work a double crochet into the second stitch. So you're gonna skip the first stitch and work a double crochet into the second stitch. Then you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna work a half double crochet around the back. So you kind of have to twist it a little bit. You go through both loops, yarn over, and then pull through all three loops. So there you've created your first kind of little cluster stitch. Then skip one stitch. This is a little quirky right here too because it looks like there's an extra stitch but it's the double crochet is actually kind of pulling it over. So you're gonna to have to skip, make sure that you're not, you're actually skipping one stitch. And then work your double crochet, then yarn over and go back through the skipped stitch back behind. I found that way easy where you can kind of snag it and pull it forward. And then pull through all through three loops. And there again, you can see when you push it up, it kind of, you can tell where the stitch is, where the double crochet is attached. So you wanna skip one and then go into the next stitch. And at the end of the round, just make sure you count your rows or your rounds, your stitches, and make sure that you're on the right track for the stitch count when you do your single crochets. And after this first round of the um, pattern stitch, We're going to keep working it. And then when we get to the end, we're going to come back and do a join. That's why this pattern is really simple. It's two 
basic stitches you're skipping one stitch the only thing that's a little complicated is working the half double crochet into the back side which took me a little getting used to but once I got the hang of it it went pretty easy and whether you're a pencil holder or a knife holder it goes pretty fast once you get the hang of it and to join so this is what it looks like, the very tiny version. <laughs> and when we join, we're going to join into the second chain of the chain two. So if you chain three, you would join into the second chain of the chain three. And in, for the video tutorial, I chained three, so I'm going to join into the top of the chain three. But the join isn't, isn't all that critical. And to do round three, you repeat round two and you repeat round two until you reach what I for the pattern I used was 17 and that measures approximately eight inches from the bottom of the brim to the top so this is a great pattern to customize because when you measure it you can work as many rows as you'd like and I've included a chart inside the blog post that has the general crown heights anywhere from a preemie all the way up to an adult large. So a preemie is 4.25 inches from the bottom of the brim all the way to the top of your last row. So when you're finished, you go ahead and you join and joining and closing up the top, that's also in the blog post. So um, head on over to the blog, the link's in the description below. And here's our little sample, and it's really tiny. I know it looks funny. It's not a hat. But keep working that all these rounds up until you reach your desired height for your crown. And here's what the finished beanie looks like. The rows kind of go diagonal. It's kind of an illusion. But it's a really nice stitch, and it's very simple, even though it looks complicated. It's also very stretchy. The seam kind of does the same thing where it goes off to the side, kind of in a diagonal, which is also kind of nice because you can't really tell where the seam is. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. All the links are below. And happy crocheting.